morning, Real Life Church. Good to see you this morning. I'm Pastor Bob, and I'm leading us this morning. And in a couple seconds, we're going to continue in our series called Wiser. We've been marching through the Proverbs, and this morning, we're going to look at the very last proverb in the book, Proverbs chapter 31. But more on that in just a second. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being a part of our online church. It means a lot to us. We're glad that you're here this morning. Again, we would love to interact with you as much as we can. Uh, we have texting numbers, 928-295-0200, and you can text a lot of those keywords that you can find on our website. You can go to our website for more information. I also wanna say thank you for those of you that are supporting our church financially. What you're doing, again, is impacting our community. We have a Christmas bash coming up again for our community uh, later on in December. And again, because of your faithfulness, we were able to provide um, 25 turkeys, okay, to families um, that needed food boxes through Arizona Baptist Children's Services. I just want to say thank you. You guys are faithful. I ask for candy, you bring candy. I ask for turkeys, you bring turkeys. You are a generous people, and I appreciate every single one of you listening this morning. This morning, we're going to be talking about the Proverbs 31 woman. So what does Proverbs 31 say about being a wiser woman? And let me remind you now, Wiser means seeing and doing life from God's perspective. How does a woman do life from God's perspective? If you're a lady this morning, I'm, I'm talking to you because the Bible dedicated a whole chapter to wiser women. Proverbs 31 says, charm is deceptive. Okay, this is the memory verse. Charm is deceptive and beauty does not last. But a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Charm is deceptive, beauty does not last, but a woman who fears the Lord will be greatly praised. Fear means a woman who takes God seriously. And the challenge for the morning is that you would take God seriously, that he would be the most important thing in all of your life. A wiser woman listens to God's voice first. There is a lot of competing things out there that are trying to speak to you ladies that's competing for you, and you're bombarded with it. I mean, infomercials, ads, pop-up ads. If you play a game, they're marketing right towards you, and they're competing voices in your head. But a wise woman listens to the voice of God first, goes with what God says over what the world says, goes with what God says over what society says, goes with what God says over what even your friends say. Proverbs 29, verse 18, when people do not accept divine guidance, they run wild. Whoever obeys the law is joyful. Secondly, okay, important here, a wise woman guards her character. It is amazing how much the Bible says about this issue, that a wiser woman goes out of her way to protect her reputation. Putting God's plan for your family in place, that's how you protect your character. In Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10, it says, who can find a virtuous and capable wife? She is more precious than rubies. I know protecting your character, again, is difficult. And I know that protecting your character goes against a, a lot of what the world says. But let me tell you something. God values a woman who guards her character. In verses 28 and 29, same chapter, it says, her children stand and bless her. Her husband praises her. There are many virtuous and capable women in the world, but you, this is what the writer says, but you surpass them all. 
You know what's really cool about God? Is you don't have to beat yourself up for the past. And God doesn't want you to do that anyway. That you can start now, right now. I mean, even as we're talking now. And you can begin to be that virtuous, capable woman that's talked about in Proverbs chapter 31. You can. You can start over. It's not too late, okay? You can begin again, and it doesn't matter what stage you're in, and be the woman that God calls you to be in Proverbs chapter 31. Now, I love this third attribute, okay? A wiser woman is persistent. Now, that kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? Well, think about it this way. A wise woman never quits. A wise woman never gives up. Watch what it says here in Proverbs 31. It says, she finds wool and flax and busily spins it. She's like a merchant's ship bringing her food from afar. She gets up before dawn to prepare breakfast for her household and plans the day's work for the servant girls. She goes to inspect a field and buys it with her earnings and plants a vineyard. She is energetic and strong. She's a hard worker. She makes sure her dealings are profitable and her lamps burn into the night. Her hands are busy spinning thread, her fingers twisting fiber. That doesn't sound like a lady to me that's given up. Matter of fact, that sounds like a lady um, who is going to get the job done. And that's what a Proverbs 31 woman does. She gets the job done. She carefully watches everything in her household, according to the proverb, and suffers nothing from laziness. That's what verse 27 says. That's what a Proverbs 31 lady is. Persistence. Never give up. Now the fourth thing, okay? Um, a wiser woman is kind. Man, isn't that, isn't that such a simple thing to say? I mean, it is. A wise woman is kind. I mean, it's so easy to write down if you're writing these down. A wise woman is kind. But you know what? Sometimes in the world in which we live in, it's hard to be kind. Kindness really is having the power not to lash out, even when it needs to happen. And you decide to love instead. 31.26, it goes on and says, When she speaks, her words are wise. And she gives instructions with what? You got the last word? She gives instructions with kindness. Mother Teresa, um, again, well known for her kindness, said it was always easy to be kind to the people that you like. Okay, um, But she said that we needed to be known for our kindness. In 31.20, it says she extends a helping hand to the poor. And opens her arms to the needy. Mother Teresa was known as a person who gave back to the world instead of just taking from the world. Maybe she got her instruction from, from Proverbs chapter 31. So the fifth thing I want to talk to you about, okay, is a wiser woman grows in wisdom. Ladies, we have the whole book of Proverbs that was given to not only ladies, but it was given to all of us that we would grow in our wisdom, that we would see and do life from God's perspective. doesn't matter what age you are today. If you're one of the teenagers that's listening to us, or if you're one of those ladies that's way mature in life and you're listening to us, continue to grow in wisdom. Learn and do life from God's perspective. We never arrive, okay? We never quite get there. God wants us to grow um, in wisdom. Now, the last thing that I want to talk to you about uh, in this Proverbs 31 woman is a wise woman trusts God with her future. Okay? Now, many women out there have trusted God with their life. Okay? You've already given your life over to God. You've asked him to be your savior. But it's hard to trust God with the future. It's one of the things that I've learned. Ladies, you're, you're looking for security. You're wanting security. But let me tell you something. Your security is going to come based out of your relationship with God. Your husband may be able to provide some security, but let me tell you something. Your security comes by trusting God with your future. You can trust him with your life. You can trust him with your future. So, Proverbs 31, 
written down that we might be wiser women. Let me review just those six things. Now, as I'm reviewing them, which one of them do you want to work on this week? A wiser woman listens to God's voice first. Is that the one? Instead of listening to your friends or the magazines or whatever of that nature, a wiser woman um, guards her character. Is that something that you need to work on this week? A, a wiser woman is persistent and doesn't quit, never gives up. A wiser woman is kind. A wiser woman grows in wisdom. And the last one, a wise woman, okay, trusts God with her future. Let me pray for you ladies. God, thank you again for our time together in your word. Um, Lord, thank you for Proverbs 31. Thank you for those in my life who have been the Proverbs 31 lady to me. God, that have impacted me. And I pray that all of our ladies, young and old, um, would make this an aspiration to be the lady that this proverb talks about. God, empower them to do that for your kingdom's sake. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, we got a couple more weeks left in this series. Next week, okay, we're going to be talking about wiser in our sex life. All right, looking forward to seeing you back at Real Life Church next week.
Woo-hoo! <laughs>